world video i bring you 10 plus easy to defeat enemies who drop legendaries amazing dedicated loot and much more how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe so i made this video with the purpose of creating something most players can do so this is for players from a level 30 to a 50 plus there is something here for everybody to farm guaranteed now within the new world there are a set of legendary items that are world drops you can see them on screen now meaning they can drop for most named enemies across the open world and trust me there are a ton of named enemies i have narrowed it down to the easiest 12 to defeat plus i wanted to bring enough enemies so at certain levels you can do this and farm these but also earn decent loot and xp at the same time to help you progress because let's say you are a level 50 there's no point you farming a level 30 enemy because besides that will drop or those dedicated drops most other loot will be absolutely useless to you so you may as well farm the higher leveled enemies feature today over the lower leveled enemies feature today so that was my purpose bring 12 different named enemies spread across multiple levels so yeah me and my pal my life crisis literally spent 20 hours straight running from one name boss to the other to see what's what and yes today i have the easiest ones for you to farm the ones that spawn back in the quickest so we have 11 that spawn within a minute and one that takes longer now like i said the world drop legendaries you can see on screen now most require a level 57 before you will see them starting to drop but there are three here which can drop for players of a level 39 and above there are also a ton and i mean a ton of amazing epics rares and exclusive dedicated loot too which can start dropping as low as a level 30. now the dedicated loot you'll also see on screen as well when i showcase the enemies but dedicated loot does have fixed stat rolls for the purpose of certain things so let's get into this guys and firstly we have Meldu Soldier of Balight, who is a level 33. His spawn location you can see on screen now. Now this dude is an easy to kill enemy and spawns back in every minute. He himself has two dedicated legendaries drop here plus the rare chance of those world drops also. So this is a great, great farm, guys. Next up, guys, we have Chef Navarro, who is a level 39. So this dude is located here on the map. He also spawns in every minute and his dedicated loot pool you can see on the screen now. Next up guys we have Broadport who is at level 40. So this dude is located here on the map. This guy is the one guy in this video who spawns in at every 5 minutes. His dedicated loot pool you can see on the screen now. Now I wasn't going to include him, but it does seem the time I've spent here, I was getting better drops. I'm not sure if it's tied to his spawn times, but don't quote me on that. He does have some great dedicated loot though, as you can see on the screen. Next up guys, we have first mate, Lecuron, who is a level 40. So this dude is located here on the map. He also spawns in at every minute and his dedicated loot pool you can see on the screen now. Next up guys we have Ching Shai the Shark who is at level 42. So this dude is located right here on the map. He also spawns in every minute and his dedicated loot you can see on the screen now. This guy I was super lucky with. Only hard thing about this dude though is getting to him. You can take out all the enemies across the bridge to get to him. Or you can just run past them, jump off the boat at the very end. Wait for them to go back to their positions then jump back up. But when you farm the main guy you will probably get a couple of ads joining on the fun. But you can easily stay on top of them. 
Next up guys we have Arika the Shadow Slayer who is a level 45. So this dude is located here on the map. He spawns in every minute and his dedicated loot you can see on screen now. This one is a real easy kill. Just stay next to her spawn and you won't be bothered by any other enemy. Next up guys we have the legendary Tuscor who is a level 45. So this dude is located here on the map. He also spawns in every minute and his dedicated loot you can see on screen now. Next up guys we have the hair keeper who's a level 46. So this dude is located here on the map. He spawns in also every minute and his dedicated loot you can also see on the screen now. Now with this enemy you have to kill the ghost who is the main target here who is the hair keeper. But once you kill this ghost you then have to search this small island for a white rabbit called Stanley. Once you kill the rabbit this guy will spawn back in. Simply repeat the process and you will get this enemy to spawn literally every minute or below. Next up guys we have this spear slayer who is a level 46. So this dude is located here on the map he's also on a 1 minute spawn timer. and his dedicated loot you can see on the screen now. So this guy you do have to climb this castle like building to get to the very top to get to him. It's best to kill the enemies to progress up otherwise they will chase you. Now he does have two guards at his door. Once you kill them and go into the main boss's room and take him out he respawns in at every minute and if you stay close to his spawn the guards at the door will not bother you. Now his dedicated drops it does seem you need to have luck on your gear for these to drop. Next up guys we have Muscle Beard. So here you can find this guy on the map. He spawns in every minute or so and his dedicated loot you can see on the screen now. He is one of the harder enemies featured today but that's only because of the couple of enemies that spawn around him. He himself isn't much of a pain. Next up guys we have the Blade Dancer who is a level 47 so this dude is located here on the map. Again he's on a 1 minute spawn timer and his dedicated loot you can see on screen now. So this guy for a level 47 is a super easy kill. You will have to take out enemies to get to this dude but once you do you won't be bothered in the final room when farming this guy. Now his dedicated loot also seems you need to have luck on your gear for these to drop. And lastly guys we have Abarax the Vicious who is a level 48. So this dude is located right here on the map and he spawns in every one minute. And his dedicated loot you can see on the screen now. So this guy for a level 48 is a super super easy farm. You can also drop a campfire right outside of this door as I do. It's literally the only place you can put it. But yes this guy is a super super easy kill and a very very efficient farm. And there we have it guys, 12 elite named enemies who all drop amazing world legendary drops as well as some great great dedicated loot drops. If you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more new world be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.